I'm here today with Paul Pollock uh, to talk about rainwater catchment and uh, design for the other 90%. Um, Paul, it's been, I think it's been over five years or so since I saw you last. It was at a Venture Well uh, back when it was called the NCAA. Oh, of course. And, uh, and you know, back then and, and ever since then, I've been struck by you know, your passion, your drive, your critical eye, um, your ability to argue. Uh, some very important <laughs> aspects of uh, of design and work. Um, and I'm really excited to meet with you today. In, in my new rainwater harvesting book, I highlight the work of Spring Health as an organization having real impact. And uh, you're one of the, the co-founders. Um, and just so everyone has context on your work, you're the author of Out of Poverty, uh, The Business Solution to Poverty. Everyone should go grab one of those books. Um, and you've met with over a thousand financially poor farmers and built businesses to serve the base of the pyramid. Is that is that true? Yeah, but uh, I've met uh, in some detail with some three thousand, uh, 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 over three thousand uh, uh, two dollar a day families. Yeah, that's a, that's amazing. Uh, that's over a long period of time. Uh, probably at least a hundred a year for thirty years. So so incredible. And I think that. You know, your your work is summed up really well in your quote, which is one of your many quotes, which is 90% uh, of the world's designers spend all of their time addressing the problems of the richest 10%. And that before you die, you want to turn that silly ratio on its head. Um, can you tell us more about that quote and, and also what base of the pyramid means? Well, it's, it's become a sort of a catchphrase, but... Uh... You know, uh, the the most significant population that has been bypassed by design uh, is uh, people who survive on uh, roughly the equivalent, uh, you know, currency of $2 a day. Uh, that's probably somewhere between 2 and 2.7 billion people. Uh, and... Uh, the remarkable thing is that those people represent, uh, uh, from one perspective, remarkable new breakthrough market opportunities for business. Uh, from another perspective, it's the most significant source of some of the world's greatest problems uh, that with disproportionate contribution to climate change, population growth, environmental imbalance, uh, conflicts and wars, uh, you name it. Uh, it's, it's the biggest proportion of uh, malnourished people in that uh, population. Uh, just about all the variables you think of, that's, that's where the most challenging problems the planet faces is centered. So if, if, if you can take advantage of this as a business opportunity, rather than seeing it as uh, poor people that need to be uplifted and need our help, uh, it, it's really an entrepreneurial opportunity, both for many of the people themselves who are entrepreneurs, survival entrepreneurs in many cases, uh, rather than uh, something to hold up as a charitable, an object of charitable uh, help. 